What is up guys, how you guys doing today? Welcome back to Robots Fire Lunar Inspection number 75. Yes, I know it's, it hasn't been that long, you know, it's only been two weeks since the last video. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out the bonus clips of the fire, Robots Fire Alarm Inspections. I put some little bonus clips on me, a little montage from 2022 to uh, a couple months ago. So yeah, we're here at a building that I made a while back. But as you guys remember, I've done a lot of Fire Alarm Inspection videos on this building. But we have some changes. That's why we have some expansion. That's right, I kind of expanded the building on. I kind of expanded onto the building, aka added onto the building. So I will show you that in a bit. So right now the system is using a Firelight MS9200 adjustable fire panel. And we have the power supply right there. And most of the alarms are Willock ET70s, I believe, or EH50s, whatever you want to call them. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, pull stations are BG12s, adjustables. And the expansion that we did over here, yes, we've kind of built a little room for our little uh, power area, breaker room. It's not the best, but it's going to do for now. In here, we have a BG-12, and in here, we have a Faraday FOE, FOS, and another Faraday FOS up there. Correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, the last part that we kind of expanded on was down here you can kind of see we didn't have this area a while back but i've expanded on don't mind my build quality uh we have some more willock eh50s speaker strobes in here and in the little entertainment room i call this we have specular advances ceiling horn strobes so without further ado guys i advise you turn your volume down as this system is loud and the temporal code three tone that we're using is kind of a little different so yeah here we go. Inspection video. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.